beautiful olives welcome back to another daily vlog instead of doing a time lapse of my workout like i normally do i thought i'd like talk through what i'm doing i did legs yesterday and my butt's really sore um so i'm gonna do some upper body i'm thinking some back some shoulders i'm wearing this new set this is the first time wearing this new set from amen i bought it myself after seeing influencers wearing this set i love the ribbed material i would say they're very true to size when i work out i use this bottle from crop shop boutique and i drink bcaa's from women's best i get the iced tea peach flavor it's really yummy i'm going to watch some good girls it's a show on netflix that i've been watching but yeah i like to watch stuff while i work out so it's not as boring oh jokes i already finished that season so there's no more to watch i always start off with some stretching so just loosening up my arms and shoulders so now that we're stretched i'm going to do push-ups the girl ones where you're like on your knees instead of a full plank push-up i'm going to do around three sets of ten All right, push-ups are done. I'm gonna use these five kilo dumbbells and do shoulder presses. All right, so I did like four sets of those shoulder presses, around eight reps each. Now I'm going to do back rows. I think that's what they're called. Um, using this chair, so it's just, so it's just pulling up like this and really squeezing and tensing your back as you pull up. And I'm going to do three sets of ten. Next I'm going to do shoulder raises with this five kilo dumbbell. When you're doing these you want to make sure that your core is like tensed, you're not arching your back or anything. So I was just taking photos of some really cute swim pieces for my friend who just launched her very first swimwear brand. Love the colors, love the designs. This one piece is probably my favorite. But yeah, they're also flattering. They are ethically made. The material is beautiful. I just can't believe that Taylor has done this. Shout out to Taylor. I'm so proud of you. And make sure you guys go follow Minima. They are launching these pieces on Monday the 20th. Stunning! So I didn't vlog over the weekend, I washed my hair yesterday and I just refreshed it because it was looking a bit frizzy and flat already on just day two, which is the story of my life, I just spend all this time making my hair look nice and then the next day it's all ruined. But it looks alright now, I just sprayed some of this Hair For Days Mixed Chicks Leave-In Spray. Um, I've had this for a while, it's nearly empty. Someone used it on my hair at a shoot and I really liked the results. Like I feel like it really defines your curls nicely for when they're a bit frizzy. Shout out to Natalie Ann for kindly sending me a little parcel of her hair products. I've got this Natalie Ann Charcoal Repair Mask, which I tried in its old packaging. This is a new packaging. I tried it last year and the smell and just the softness of my hair from it was amazing. So I'm so grateful that she sent me a new one and it just, yeah, it smells amazing. I just really am struggling to vlog because I just feel like every day is the same in lockdowns. My motivation levels keep changing in terms of content. I feel really I feel really behind, like like I don't have any any fresh new content to upload and I'm usually I usually have a backlog of stuff so I can post every day and I just put a lot of pressure on myself to post every day on TikTok, Instagram, every two days on YouTube right now, which I'm behind on. Just feeling stressed, overwhelmed, anxious. Just the lockdown vibes. <laughs> I just cleaned up the house a bit and then I'm gonna organize all my clothes that I put up for sale. You can check me out on Depop and Poshmark and I've just been getting a lot of orders, which is good. I feel really happy packing orders and like knowing that these clothes are gonna be actually worn by people <laughs> and giving them the second life. Time to get organized in that department. I'll catch you guys soon. Hey guys, I just got back from the park 
and I got some photos in this outfit. We've got this Able light blue activewear set. The brand is Able, sorry. And then the shirt is from Cotton On. It's like a blue, blue and white striped oversized shirt. I wanted to show you these really cute sneakers I got last week. These are the New Balance 574s in the color white, but they're like a light gray. I just think they're so cool. They're really comfy too. I went up half a size. Oh wait, I went up a size for these because I didn't, I don't know, the sizing was weird. So normally I'm an, I'm a seven and I got an eight. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill and watch a movie now and I'll get back to you soon. I'm gonna finish this vlog off with some unboxing. I got a few parcels today, it was so annoying. I went to the post office today to ship some um, clothes that I sold on my Poshmark and obviously it's locked down so I'm usually always home. And I was like, for the 10 minutes that I'm going to be going to the post office, I bet the parcel I've been waiting for is gonna come and then they're, they're not gonna leave it because I'm not home. And then I came home to those cards where it's like, we've missed you and I was like, Arr. Anyway, first world problems. Beginning Boutique sent me some pieces. I believe there's a couple dresses and a top. Oh, wait, this isn't the one. <laughs> this isn't the parcel I thought it was. I forgot that I bought this blazer. I think blazers are a cool item for spring when it's not super hot, not super cold. So I've been making a bit of a collection of blazers and I just liked this green colour. I think with like a black dress underneath, a white dress, a little knit set underneath this. Anything neutral with this is just a vibe. And you know I love green. This looks like the right size too. I always get my blazers in an 8, so a size up so that they're a bit more oversized. I don't want that tight kind of blazer look. I want to look a bit more casual. Got Levi jeans from The Iconic and I remember I opened up first pair that I got on a vlog and they were too small. So this is the next size up. Hopefully they sent me the right size. Yeah, so this is a 26 by 30 and I think I got a 24 last time and they fit but like they were tight so I reckon these will be good. Love this shade of blue. I think everyone needs a pair of Levi's. I like the ends. They're like a bit Afraid. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see how I style these. I got this cute gift box from Key Australia um, and I think it was Portobello PR so thank you guys. Look at this face mask, I actually need a new face mask. These are pretty cool. They're cool, I like them. I like big frames that are actually going to shield your eyes from the sun. We've got some pink shades going on. I don't know if I'd ever pick these. Maybe if I have a pink outfit to shoot one day, these will be cool. But I am eyeing off these green ones. These look very me. And these will be so cute with like a green bikini. I love the shape of these. And they also make everything green on the inside. My god, they read in my mind I needed a new eye cream. This is the Alia Pink Pearl Illuminating Eye Cream. That sounds so good. I've tried the other Alia products, the um, pink clay mask is great and I think I have their cleanser got an eye cream. Thank you They read my mind again because I had a goi sha. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say it goi, gua sha, goi sha. Um, I had one of these and I was carrying stuff up the stairs and I dropped it and it just split and broke all over the floor So I bought a new one, but now I have a spare one if I break the other one or I might give this to my mum We've got a hand-blown glass, chemical-free, reusable drink bottle from Seoul. I actually get sent a lot of drink bottles. And, oh, this is cute because it's little. I like that size. That's a good handbag size. It's just good to take on shoots and stuff when you don't want to bring, like, a massive bag of stuff. That's just going to fit really nicely into your little handbag. Oh. Is this a, a necklace? Was it a bracelet? I don't know what, oh, it's a key, I think it's a keychain. This is from Bondi Rocks and it says Olivia on it. Cute. This is Who is Elijah perfume. I think it's a, it's a his, her, so I might give this to Fabian. Mmm, very interesting. That smells very, very classy, very musk, masculine. But if a girl wore that as well, I'd be like, mm, yum. It's very woody, very different to anything I have. And I think I will spray this all over Fabian because it's that good. Next, I am doing content with Public Desire, which is a shoe brand. And 
They sent me three pairs of shoes, which is really kind of them, and I'm gonna pick which one I wanna shoot and what with what outfit, but I got these white thigh-high boots. I think any of my close friends know that I love a good long thigh boot. These are just white, and then, and then they've got the black soles. I think these are the ones that I wanna shoot, though, because they're just a bit different, and I think this shade of green is just beautiful and these are really long these are gonna go past my knees so I'm just thinking what how to style these and I'm thinking like a mini a mini dress either a neutral mini dress or if I can find something that is this color that would be sick look at that and the heel it's like a little pointed design these are stunning they're just a chocolate brown square heel I love this height Nothing higher than this. Anything higher than that, I'm not wearing, actually wearing out of the house. This is the highest I can do. But yeah, they're so pretty. I can see so many outfits going with them. So I got a big parcel from Sports Girl, which is exciting. I've never worked with Sports Girl before, but I've been shopping with them since I was uh, a teenager. It's always been like a popular store here in Sydney, Australia. I won't show you everything, but I'll give you a little sneak peek and then you can go on my TikTok and see how I style each piece with accessories and stuff. We've got a little purple lilac cute mini dress with puffy sleeves. I love the print on this little mini dress. It's an orange kind of floral 70s vibe. This print is really pretty. I think these colors are very in for spring. The green, the orange, and the pink. And we've got this midi length got a little slit but yeah if you want to see what this looks like on make sure to check out my tiktok we've also got some cute accessories but i will leave it at that and keep the rest as a surprise i feel so tired i know you guys probably don't notice but whenever i don't get a good night's sleep i just have this darkness under my eyes i have concealer on now obviously but i can see it like whenever i looked in the mirror today i was like you look so tired. I just, you know when you just can't sleep, like you're overtired. I just didn't have a deep sleep last night. I had like around six hours, which is not enough for me. I know some people survive on six hours, five hours, but I need eight hours of sleep to feel normal, I guess. So I'm hoping I can sleep well tonight. It's that PMS anxiety. I don't know if anyone else experiences it, but like right before I get my period, I often just get random anxiety about everything, so. Fun. Anyway, I should go help Fabian cook dinner. I'm getting pretty hungry. I hope you liked the vlog. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Please keep leaving video suggestions down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye!